Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lab and today I'm going to be doing a Mash Gang and Vault City collab. Hold on, let me get a camera a bit sorted. It's a little lower than usual. But this is a, anyway, Mash Gang and Vault City collab. This one is called uh, Only in Dreams and it's a strawberry and jalapeno margarita pickleback. Never heard of a pickleback. Um, and this one I got from Priest Town. It costs like £3 because it's an AF. Uh, it is an AF, um, which is also what I was going to lead into, um, because it's an AF, and it's AF Monday, which is today. Um, yeah, I thought, what better to sort of kick it off again, because I keep, it's not that I forget, but brewers at the minute, they're sort of not doing the AF stuff, and if they are, it's the same stuff that I've already reviewed, so I'm kind of waiting for brewers to get back onto it and do it again. Uh, Mash Gang are one of them, but they only really make alcohol-free stuff which is good, um, and I do need to buy more of them because their stuff is just good in general, but um, every other brewer, they're just kind of not doing it at the minute, so it's harder for me to get hold of it, but when I do get hold of it, I will start making more videos for them and doing more AF Mondays because I do miss them because it's just a good day to do it and it's a good thing to do, just have a nice cold beer, especially today like this. Like, look at that sun, that is just, it's killer. Um, I think it's like 22 degrees at the minute, it's fucking roasting. But this will be, hopefully, if it's nice, will be perfect for today. This is cold, and I mean cold, cold. Anyway, um, so like I said, it's a strawberry and jalapeno margarita pickleback. Um, and there's some guff on the back here that says, Only in Dreams is the first release of a six-part collaborative series between Mash Gang and Vault City. Well, I didn't know that, but it's good to know, so keep my eye out. Um, our sour summer begins with a tangy twist on a classic cocktail, balancing sweet tart flavours with a little spice. And it says that there. Now, this is not the only margarita beer I have in the fridge. I have another one. I'm not going to say which one, but I have another margarita beer in the fridge. In fact, I think I have two. Everyone's jumping on this margarita train at the minute um, of making it into a beer. I don't know why. It's, it's a margarita. Just, just have one of them. Unless it's too expensive, I guess. But everyone's jumping on that sort of train at the minute. So I've, I don't know. I'm going to have a couple margarita beers coming up in the future. This is a good, hopefully, good kickoff to them. Um, I'll do the can art quickly, which I do really, really like if my camera can pick it up good. Um, it's like a Japanese, Chinese style. I think it's Japanese. Uh, I don't want to come across as racist. I can't read it, but whatever that is. Um, it's some form of Eastern Asian um, styled, themed can art. I really like it. I think it's quite cool looking. It looks like something out of um, Tokyo Soul or some other anime that I can't name off the top of my head. Anyway, I'm getting too far into it. Uh, best before is the 3rd of May 2024, so it's got quite a long date on it, which is good. Um, let's crack it open and see what we got, shall we? Hopefully, if my uploading is all good and sorted, um, I should have either done or have left a few Vault City beers to do, so this should fit nicely in between doing them, because I haven't uploaded anything for today, so... Should hopefully fit in really nicely. Anyway, um, so there's the beer. We've got ourselves a nice, let's see if I can get a nice view of it, but yeah, a nice sort of rose goldish coloured beer with a off-white compact head. That looks really, really nice. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Ooh, strawberries, lime really really citrusy but only in the lime it's quite strong that but it does have a nice berry strawberry kick to it i'm not getting anything in the way of chilies um i'm not getting any sort of heat or anything from or any um chili type smell just getting strawberry and lime at the minute but it smells sweet it smells nice it smells good so far they floaters there's a couple floaters and i do mean tiny tiny specks like i do think it might just be my glasses dirty and that's what it is but there are a couple floaters in there 
Anyway, um, let's come off the bowling cart. Wow. Carbs light, body's medium. Um, oh wow, that is, that's fancy. I don't know if this is meant to be a sour. Like I say, I've never heard of a pickleback. Um, but it does have a nice tartiness to it. Not an over the top. It's quite faint. Um, on a sour scale, I'll probably give it a two or a three. It's not over the top, like I say, but still has a nice twist to it. That lime is what's giving it, and maybe the strawberry hint of it. Um, but it's giving that nice, sharp twist to it. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. That's so good. Um, the fact that it's only 0.5% as well, that is brilliant. Right, so flavour-wise, I don't think I've ever done a Vault City Mash Gang collab on the channel if I have maybe one but this this is one that is I've been looking forward to um just because I know Mash Gang are fantastic for their AS and Vault City are just good at making what's on the can in the drink they're just they're, they're like the masters of it I don't know how they do it but whatever they put on the can it's in the drink so your flavor um you've got a nice strong strawberry punch um doesn't really last too long, but it's in there, and it's the first flavour you get, strawberry, nice and strong, just really, really ripe, really sweet, really fruity, berry-like, it's just really, really good, really, packs a punch, and it's good, uh, that is followed closely, uh, the strawberry fades quite quickly after that, but that's followed closely by the lime, lime sticks throughout the rest of the drink, but you've got this nice, sharp, citrusy, limey flavour, um, it's the full fruit it's like you're doing the te um, a tequila shot and you just bite on the lime that's what you've got a nice sharp lime it's not over the top with the sour like i said it's only a two or a three but you do get that nice tartiness to it um as all that is happening though you've got this nice fruit you've got the jalapeno it's under the the rest of the flavor it's not over the top it's not spicy spicy it gives you a nice little warmth uh, a nice little tickle basically um just catches your tongue a little bit uh, and it is fantastic. It reminds me of Salt Hex 8 and 9, whichever one the jalapeno one was, or the chilli one was, the first one, where it had it was just nice and warm. It's nicely balanced. It wasn't over the top. It's just a nice, simple, mild chilli flavour, nice little jalapeno chilli flavour. It's, like I say, it's not over the top. You've got the strawberry there to balance it out, and you've got the lime there, which make sure it doesn't go too far it's quite quite mild and it's well balanced um and it's af and it's just a great drink that's just really really good um i didn't expect it to be this good of a drink especially in af but it's mash gang and mash gang are really good at that and like i said it's vault city and whatever is in a vault city can is in the drink um, so this has been probably one of the best pairing ups I've had for a little bit on this channel. Definitely. And it's an AF and it, it's just great. So, um, I think with that I'm going to go away and enjoy this. Oh, no, they are definitely floaters. It's not my glass. It's, yeah, there's some floaters in there. But not much. Sorry. Um, so... Yeah, uh, I'm going to go away and enjoy this. It's AF Monday. Have a nice AF drink. Uh, if you can get your hands on this, give it a go. Because um, it's just fantastic. So, um, Mash Gang and Vault City is only in Dreams. Strawberry and Jalapeno Margarita Pickleback. Out of 10... Hold on, sorry. I've, I've missed something here on the back of the can. Um, so, it's giving me the flavours here. Strawberry, chilies, lime, and then it says vinegar. I didn't get any vinegar. I mean, that's probably for the best. I don't want to feel like I'm having a chippy tea in my drink. But anyway. Um, but yeah, everything else that was there is there. So, um, yeah. Out of 10, I'm going to give that a 9. I think it's fantastic. I really like that. Um, I I quite like that. It's it's 
a good start, I think, to this margarita train that everyone's jumping on board of. I've got a feeling they're all talking to each other what the next big trend to be is. But if it, if they do, and it's margarita, this is a good start to it. I really like this, and I think um, I think it's going to be quite hard to beat. And it's an AF, as I keep saying. So, yeah. Um, so if you've had this, well, uh, there you go. If you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to both Mash Gang and Vault City's website down below. Get some Mash Gang in, because they are just really good for AF beers. And AF Monday, if you want to drink along, I'll eventually have it in my fridge. Especially Mash Gang, so um, just buy some of their stuff, because it is just good anyway. Vault City, same deal. I always tend to go to Vault City, it just ends up in my fridge. Because they just make some good stuff anyway. So both links will be down below. I'm sure you can get this on both websites. I don't see why you can't. Um, but if you like the video, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on. Etc, etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later.